Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Sunless Skies. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we go south. Which, uh, we're trying to explore the west part of the Reach, and uh, we've just been getting a lot of money. I think, actually, last episode we got a lot of money. Uh, yeah, we, we got a lot of money because we sold a bunch of bronze wood, and in fact, our opportunities, or whatever they're called, uh, are for a lot of supplies. And we have a lot of supplies, so it, it's a good thing. Uh, and uh, now we're going... Oh... No, 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 Okay. No! Control! Control. Okay. Rotate. That, that's the one. Range, range, range. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. That thing has range. Okay. That was surprisingly easy. A colonized Kentankeri. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we can dig under the fungus for precious metal. Of uh, stones, rather. Or I can try to render the fungus edible. Which wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's, let's just go for the precious things. I've gained sovereigns and terror. But that's fine. So, that's the... In... Inequable, inequal, inequable. What's the word that I'm trying to I'm looking for? Unmistakable. It's sort of unmistakable, but from the other way around. Like unmistakable means when you mis you cannot mistake it for another sound. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that you can't imitate it. An imitable, and well, that doesn't make that doesn't sound right. Either way, I'm trying to be fancy with my words. You know what I'm talking about. And I think every time I'm gonna hear that sound that we just heard. I'm gonna know for sure that's one of those. They they actually don't don't pose much of a threat. They did damage me for a little bit, but it's fine. Uh, and uh, do we have enough crew for doing things over here? I don't actually know that we need to do things in here. Uh, can we can go to the parting glade, write a port report, and it's another port port report right there. Very good. We can explore the glade. Oh uh, oh right, I didn't. Did I? No, I did. We can gain verdant seeds in here. A caged catch. Or visions of heaven, so that's what we can gain in here. So we've we've explored this uh, forest edge, a respite from labor. Ask for w oh right, I can fix my things. I need twenty five. And I can lose my terror as well, which is pretty good. Um, and it goes away. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's it. That's probably very good if you have. A lot of damage, which I think happened last time around. Uh, and yes, these are what I was looking at. So, Verdant Seeds, Caged Catch, or Visions of Heavens. And we can go with Verdant Seeds. Ga gather some flowers there. Got one more. We have some... We have, oh, yeah, you can do that again. And then... Somerset Camp, that's all the people over here are gone. Because we did... I think we finished. And then, yeah, we can, we can absolutely make an expedition. The problem here is I do not believe I have to do it. <laughs> the scholars in the woods seek your help in opening the grave. Travel to the regent's grave to open the tomb. Absolutely I do. Small, lar large expedition. Oh, it disappeared. Did you see? Yep. I think. A sizable contingent of your contingent of your crew volunteers to follow you into the wood. Packs are hoisted onto shoulders, rations divided and sensibly stored in little tubs. You're we're with you, Captain, a stout signaler tells you. And I lost a little bit of supplies, but that's fine. We can't buy them here, but we'll be we'll be okay, I think. So let's see what we're doing here. Somerset College has, until recently, funded expeditions into the forest. Those who returned speak of voices on the wind, of murmurs in uninhabited groves. You must decide where to go. If you leave while you have crew embarked on an expedition, they will not be available until you complete that expedition. Good. So we can embark. Oh, no. What? It did not disappear, it just did a weird thing. Am I missing something here? Travel to the regent's grave. Hmm. Let's look for otherworldly artifacts. 
You will need to reach Trader's Progress 5 to successfully complete an expedition. Sure, let's go with that. This expedition is moderate. We got this. Rain mizzles over the trees ahead. You gather your crew, and with a nod to those left behind, begin to make your way into the mist. Thunder shakes the trees. Storms nearing, a signaler says, drawing up her hood. Her hood. Should we be out in this, Captain? Uh, we should. We are very good at all the things. Uh, you might make more progress, but at a risk. Nope, there's no risk. 100% <clears throat> success rate right there. Very good. Brandy is passed about in little flasks, until you have to remind people not to get rotten drunk in the middle of a thunderstorm. The going is quieter after that, but swifter. Eventually the storm passes, and my terror has fallen. You emerge into a field of purple flowers, bright as new bruises. Captain! A stoker's voice is anxious. Can you hear them? Something whispers from beneath the petals. Uh, I can listen to the voices, or I can... I think this, this gives me something... This gives me, like, a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sky stories. The scent of the flowers is sweet but sour, like that of rotten raspberries. The smell overpowers your nostrils as the voices overwhelm your ears, filling them with a constant babble. Your, jo your crew join you in the long grass, wandering through the cacophony of flowers. Petals open tiny mouths. They whisper directions, only half in a language you speak. They tell you of groves and graves, the treacheries which happened, the defiance, the kingdom overthrown. Eventually, they even tell you the way to leave. The ground gives way to a bog. Gray and fetid as a newly slain corpse. It burps lazily. The marsh reads susurrate, growing in volume as you approach. There is English amidst the polyphony. Names, yours and those of your crew. Uh, and I, to 82%. Let's search for another route. That failed. I failed. And I don't know what happened. The wood extends for miles, but so too does the bog. It is hours before you find a passable clearing, a glade of emerald hue nestled between a copse of silver trees that shiver and sigh like consumptives. Your crew follow your lead, hanging close to your torchlight. You keep up a count, checking the numbers of your crew as you go. Not every one ha uh, leaves the silvered wood. And the tree line parts ahead. Toppled stonework wrought by ancient hens. Did I find it? Embarked upon an expedition for artifacts. No, no, no. I think this is just the artifacts that we're going to get. Yeah, three of them. And I lost one crew. Okay. The stone is rough cut, almost hewn, as if it was worked more like wood than rock. Tunnels have been bored through it, pe permitting entry and exploration. Inside are cells, arranged as in a monastery, but colossal in size. You wonder... Vast, featureless hallways. Most are entirely empty. Occasionally, you find what seems to have been storage of outlandish tools and tableware. You gather up the most obviously valuable items before departing. Hmm. The forest rises behind the station? No, I, I think I did it. Right? I can explore the glade, but that doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, so we're back down here. Didn't work out quite as I had wanted it to. But it's alright. It's alright. We can get supplies in here. My phone is doing a weird thing. I'm sorry. I don't I don't know what's going on with it. Anyway. it's It wasn't ringing, but it was just like unlocking and locking and whatever. So. The forest edge and everything else is done. Yeah, that's not part of the mission. Which is a shame. It's kind of... I'm not sure what's... Uh, yeah. I don't know I don't know what that quest is for. I don't remember it. So we're going over through here and we're exploring this bit and we're going to Stain Lod Stain Lod and Bear Reds. That's where we're going. I'm sure we're gonna be fine. Don't you worry about it. And yeah, we lost two fuel. That's a bit of a shame. But we're very fast. And we don't use up more fuel for being very fast. Contrary to what's gonna happen after uh well after I get that engine that I want because it gives me the full out. Yeah. Although by the point I, I get to buy the engine, I might be able to buy the really, really good one, the tier 3. I wouldn't mind getting the tier, the tier 3. Got a little bit of a chug there. Might be an enemy that spawned. There's something up here. I hear something. I don't know if it's my ship because 
There's there's noises this this ship makes. Ooh. What? Thought it was a, a dead end. Is it not? It is. It is? Oh. Wow. That's a weird nook. Remember how I was saying that we are okay with fuel? Yeah, we're okay with fuel. But that is a weird nook right there. I thought it was just gonna, you know, reverse back into seeing the wall and then go away. That's why I was going in reverse and all weird and using the the side thing which works fantastically well by the way I think it's almost as fast as the normal forward if you time it well which means that we are at the square root of two speed of our normal speed that's how triangles work which would be 1.4 about 42% more ah, I missed that we're going there I want all the treasure What was it? Was it there when I came? It must have been. Oh, it's one of these. For bronze wood. Or more. Nope, just bronze wood. Yeah. There's a lot of it. I have a lot of it. But if the uh, opportunities keep going up, if they keep needing more and more, then money's hopefully not going to be a problem. People told me in the beginning when I started playing the game that money was a, is not a problem in this game. Uh, I think it's well balanced. Oh, look at one of these. I'm gonna scoop that and see what that does. Supplies? Gross. It didn't even tell me. Oh, no, not you. Okay, this is bad news. Maybe. Okay. Didn't get hit by that. Okay. It's just a matter of not doing exactly what I did. Oh, it's gonna blow up. Yeah, we got a lot of these. What is it? Colonized thing. Can get some more food. Let's dig under the fungus of oppression, stones, and terror. 89 sovereigns, though. That is definitely worth it. And I will remind you, I haven't gotten the, um, I haven't gotten the, the terror reprieve that we're due, uh, from visiting a port in a long while, so we should be getting one soon. Uh, I can read the ledger and gain a vision of heaven, but doesn't that make somebody want me to not be good? I think so. Okay. Oh, there's a friend. Would you kindly... You jerk. You jerk. Level up. Stop shooting me. Uh, search for unusual items. And sovereigns instead. For 24. Not worth it. Stop shooting me. What, what's wrong with you? So we're going to want hearts. There it is. And we're going to want mirrors. Do we have that? Hearts. There's a bunch of them. Hearts and mirrors. The apple did not fall far from the tree. The way you turned out came as little surprise to those around you. Cast from a mold, they said. But which of your family's qualities do you embody? Their virtues or their vices? Their virtues. Some inherent wealth you inherited character. Good breeding, people said. Well, perhaps. they. But they have already... They have always been a keen observer and learned quickly. Indeed. And we did learn quickly. We did. Oh, there's something that talks over here. And now we can do all of these things, I think, because we have, like, that magic thing. Oh, no. Trade a sky story for supplies. I need a fuel, actually. I'm going to eat my fuel and uh, reduce my terror. Yeah, the talk is just a normal interaction. Don't crash. Thank you. And I think that Tacketeam must have fired that last shot just as sort of... I uh, didn't notice, sorry. It's kind of tricky. I was in the middle of battle, you see. I had the, the, the cannon all loaded, and I was like, eh, 
I loaded this, and now I'm gonna have to fill all the paperwork to tell them how I unloaded it and whatnot. Nah, I'm not having any of that. And so they decided against it. This is gonna be tricky, isn't it? Woohoo! That overtake right there. Okay, so we're going over there, but there's a lot of things to see down here. That much is certain, and the wind is not gonna make it any easier, although I could go around instead of going back down south to through the east. And, um... And I, I don't even know if that's possible. I could go in, in through there. But again, I also don't know if that's... If that's possible. That was munitions. Oh, I also lost a little bit of... That ship is weird. What does that have? Shotgun? Yep. You're down, mate. Okay. Loot the hold. Gain, gain crew. But I gain terror from that, don't I? Oh, no, I... The gain, yeah, absolutely. Get in. One crew. I like it. And terror. Oh! A cryptic stoker wants to hold a memorial service for the crew that have recently died in your service. Judging by his tattoos of a storm studded with mouths and his rattling collection of talismans, the ceremony, the ceremony is unlikely to be Christian. Yeah, we had this before. What can I do? Approve and attend. Uh, and we have uh, attend and deliver an eulogy myself. And we lose... I assume we're going to lose terror. Yeah. And the storm that speaks has noticed me. No, notice it? Sure. Hey, there we go. And we're in here. This is very bright. So I can join a hunting party. Is this where I need to go? Is this... Did I mix up the icons? It's tricky to know. No, I did not. Let's join a hunting party over here. I can reduce terror from that, or I can give 28... Nope, that's a bad idea. Explore the nature reserve on my own. So, we have... Have we been down here? Let me look at my notes over here. Excuse me. Let be turn insane rod. We can gain sky stories from here. That's the only thing we can do as of right now. I can export sapling knots. Uh, gather a port report. Absolutely, I will. Thank you very much. And export the sapling knots that we got. The clerk smiles as you sign your name. This one's going to Port Prosper. And uh, then that's where we need to go. Converse with my fellow captains. But nothing new is happening. That's the only thing I can do? It is indeed. And we have the capabilities thing. Ask the phlegmatic researcher about his completed research. Oh, that's right, because we did this. The phlegmatic researcher's table is covered with thick grass and growing rapidly. His, well, the grass is growing rapidly, not the table. His colleagues are celebrating vigorously. More so even than last time. A scout is singing loudly, if tunelessly. Another is stomping through the room in some kind of dance. I'm going to witness the culmination of their efforts. The phlegmatic researcher smiles uneasily. He's delighted and unsettled by the exuberance of the celebrations. <laughs> I love it. Delighted and unsettled. The reach contains certain growth-encouraging airs which I acquired. Captains call it the peacock wind. I call it the breath of God. The phlegmatic, phlegmatic researcher strikes the table with his cane. And this is what we've accomplished. A fertilizer so potent, it'll grow whatever you seed it into it. It costs a fortune to make, but still a tremendous step forward. He glances warily at the sign singing scout, whose voice is growing hoarse. I don't know what's gotten into them, although I suppose it is a remarkable discovery. And I gained one savage secret, one vision of heaven, and 300 experience, and the research continues. Oh. The phlegmatic researcher's list. I need many things. I'll get them. Uh, can I tell? Scribe Spinister, a guest... Trader's Wood Mandrake, an old Tom's Well, ice from old Tom's Well. We've been to, the old, to that well, haven't we? I don't know where it is, but we've been there. Uh, if we made it, to, oh, we can choose. If we may determine how they're able to write without refills of ink <laughs> for the spinsters, um, sure, let's go with that. They're easy to spot. Then we may be able to re reproduce the effect, or else learn something about the nature of celestial note-keeping. Oh, that's... I'm just learning about what we're doing. The researchers of the Nature Reserve toil away in their laboratories. The phlegmatic researcher has identified several elements, however, which may quicken their progress. And about the ligaments of guests, the biological infestation known commonly as guests... Yeah, we just killed one of those as well... are in fact multiple organisms. 
They are bound together by something akin to a shared ligament. What is this alien biology? And the mandrake from Trader's Wood. There are reports of a curious warbling, if not shrieking, from the woods. It reminds one of classical mandrake. It would be a fine thing to study this, to learn more of the defenses of this marvelous creature and where it learned its song. I don't actually know what that is. And the eyes from to Old Tom's Well, a most curious phenomenon, the shelves of black ice. But from whence does it come from? What call has the ice to freeze in a place otherwise so warm? Indeed. What, what, what does? So that's what we need. And we can go back over here. And I can turn in my research? I have things. Did you bring back something from the filmatic researcher? I believe I haven't. I'll try it, but I don't think I have. Yeah. I can't... I hope I don't lose that. I return... Oh. I don't know. That's weird. Isn't it? Huh. It is weird. I don't think it had anything changed. Anything shouldn't have changed. Or nothing should have changed, I mean. But, um... I don't know what that is. Either way, we're good. Oh, I forgot to buy things. What do you sell? Fuel and supplies. Good. Ooh! Experience there that we hadn't gotten. Well, I guess we're going south. Because <laughs> I'm turned around. Okay. Also, I need to sell things in here. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. And also, I didn't go here into the reserve. Go to the ornithologist. I didn't really get anything done about the bird yet. So, that's it's all good. He doesn't say anything new. Let's go to the bazaar and sell that. A superior researcher has the barrels carried into a timbered laboratory. She hands over your pay. This is for your service, she says. And this for your silence. She deposits a serpentine plant in a clay pot in your hands. It purrs gently. An otherworldly artifact. Yes, yes it would be. And I can also buy verdant seeds, which is pretty good. So let's buy a few of those. I'll buy another one of these. And I can sell verdant seeds. No, I cannot. Unfortunately, I can only buy them. Uh, and that's that. Okay, so we did another thing. How is our money right now? 4,000? Almost 4,000. 3,700? I did buy a little bit more, so so it makes sense that I wouldn't have as much money as I thought I would. So let's explore this... Uh... Yeah, there's wind in here. I don't think my crew likes this wind. I'm not I'm not necessarily hating this. This was a good decision. It's definitely a good decision on me. Although I don't know where this goes. Okay, there's that jerk over there. Now you noticed. Are you gonna crash? I think you're gonna crash. That's bad. Okay. The bees don't attack me? I don't think the bees attack me. That's interesting. Can gain crew or loot? Nope. Go for that. What is it? It rattles. Undistinguishable shovel things. Okay, moving on then. Let's explore things that we haven't seen before and look at all the pretty flowers. Listen, Captain, a signaler hisses. From somewhere ahead, you hear sweet, solemn plain song, Chorister Bees. Yeah, look at the background. Your navigator is entranced by the wash of flowers and soon arrived in a field of Aspodel. They recite the home of shadows who have been worn to weariness. This is something. Your engine perches among the stalks, nestled between petals the size of gardens. Enormous flowers sprawl across the horizon, a welcoming forest. The petals are the color of mellow gold and vivid ruby. The scent of sticky pollen hangs in the air, aspodel and drowsy cardamom. I don't actually know what any of those are, so I'm not sure if it's asphodel as it should be, but I think that comes from another language, so 
it might be an accession. I think it makes it sounds a little bit better. Asphodel, I don't know. So I can linger in the flower field. The flowers yawn open, petals in full bloom, red and gold and soft cherries all around. A stoker... That That's pink, isn't it? I think that is pink. I'm not sure. A stoker suggests a picnic. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't mind a picnic. Delve into the flowers. I don't have... A saying. I don't have a saying. And harvest the nectar from the flowers. Within the vast tubular flowers, nectar drips out from the sta stamen like a tongue. That's a very... Yeah, I'll do that. Two chorister nectar. Hmm, it's a shame here. Oh, the, the thing. A volunteer is chosen to enter the flower. She takes an empty gourd and, with the aid of rope and a few strong stokers at the other end, crawls inside the waiting lips of the flower. The flower's great head bulges like a throat as she descends. It is almost a full half an hour before she emerges, gourd brimming with nectar. She takes a second empty gourd and dives back in. When she next emerges, her overalls are stained with liquid gold and her breath is labored. You have enough nectar for now. And, uh... Did I ruin it just now? Because I, th I thought I was going to do something else. I thought I was going to take a picnic. But I can't take a picnic. Huh. Curious. Yeah, I was going to take a picnic and that would solve my, uh, my carry weight problem. So if we want nectar, we have plenty of it over here. I don't want it, though. You can hear the bees in there. You work, little guys. You do your job. Or things. Do you know that 10 bees work... Oh, well. I don't know this for a fact. I heard it online, so it must be right. Uh, 10 bees work their whole life for a, a single spoonful... A teaspoonful of uh, of honey. There's a lot of bees in there. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm saying. Insects are quite admirable like that. There's a lot. Your navigator is entranced by the wash of flowers. Yeah, again. Good stuff. So this is like proper, proper bee territory in here. I did see some of them uh, elsewhere. Huh. So um, somebody told me in the comments that if I attack the bees, Titania gets a bad ending. We do need to go to Titania. But we're also out of time for the day. So I don't know if that's true about the Titania. I don't know. I have attacked the bees. But for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Sunless Skies. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.